Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview for the first T20I between Ireland and New Zealand. This preview is powered by Nostra Pro and you keep in mind that you join us on the Fantasy Cricket Pro Telegram channel for the final teams and updates. Now let's get to the preview for this game. So in this specific game, I'll be going with one keeper, four batsmen, three all-rounders and three bowlers and I'll mention some interesting GL rotations for you. So let's get to the detailed preview. So first up, the keepers and the batters. One keeper that I'll go with, Lockin Tucker, who's looked in decent sort of form. Dane Cleaver is the option from New Zealand, but obviously he will take a game at least to settle into the conditions. That's what I'm assuming. But if they're good batting conditions, I'll slot him straight in. Then we look at the four batters, Martin Guptill and Finn Allen, both of whom batted decently in a few games in the ODIs and obviously had a big knock here and there too. So I think they should not be ruled out. Third batter would be Glenn Phillips, who's batting in an important role in the middle order. And yes, he's nowadays bowling some very handy off spin too. The fourth pick would be Paul Sterling, who, yes, I know, struggled in those first few set of ODIs, but he is a world class T20 player, has played in leagues around the world. I'm expecting him to do better. And now we look at the all rounders and the bowlers for this one. Michael Bracewell, who's going to be my vice captain. I know Glenn Phillips is the captain because he bats slightly more above but Michael Bracewell plays a similar role in the finishing role sort of in the team so I think he's a good vice captaincy choice Mitchell Santner who I think is a decent option bowls some good left arm spin and can come in with some big hitting down the order third all-rounder would be Curtis Camphor who has bowled well in the ODIs and also know, is known for some big hitting down the order so I think three similar all-rounders in terms of value proposition then three bowlers Lockie Ferguson, who with his pace can rattle even the best on his day. So I think that's a no-nonsense sort of pick for you and an amazing grandly captaincy choice. It's Stody if he plays, not too sure about his availability. But if he plays, he slots straight in because if they're going to chase, especially Ireland, he can cause some trouble to them with that slow leg spin of his. And the last pick, Mark Adair, who has batted and bowled really well against New Zealand in those first two ODIs, didn't play the third one. But provided he's available and not injured, I think he's an amazing choice. So this is my dream team for today. You to go make your team right now on the Nostra Pro app. Remember to use the code Fantasy Preview to get a hundred percent cash back on your first deposit. And don't worry, I have you covered with the pitch condition and all of that on the Fantasy Cricket Pro Telegram channel. So join us there right away. All the good luck to you.